We are all such beautiful, unique creatures, and we all have a story. We just, sometimes we just need somebody to listen. Still, when you go by a calendar, there's Marilyn Monroe and the Beatles. What does that say? The old farmhouse is still standing strong, and a sweet old woman runs to me. And I can smell the pumpkin pie, a holiday for family pride. I want to take a cruise. I asked my friend Patty, what is it like if a woman takes a cruise alone? And she said, don't even think about it. Everybody, I am so happy to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. I hope you had a good week. You know, I had a much better week this week than last week. Oh my God, last week <laughs> I was just hitting my head and falling down. And anyway, I had a much calmer, safer week this week. But today, I have a haul for you and I don't usually do haul videos but this one I think is going to be fun and I want to tell you a little bit about you know how it how it began in about three weeks my newest granddaughter is going to be born her name is Quinn and I there's a shower that I'm going to for her and Nicole this Sunday and I want to take you with me but anyway I wanted to go out and, and buy Quinn some clothes, you know, you know, nice outfits to say, hello world, I'm here. <laughs> and well, I took you with me and if it's okay with you, I want to show you some of the outfits that I got her. They brought tears to my eyes. I mean, oh, they make the cutest little, little clothes for little girls now. And anyway, well, I went to Burlington and I just, I had so much fun. I got a lot of stuff for us too. I, I found uh, some, some beautiful blouses and some sweaters, some dusters. I never had a duster before, so why do they call them dusters? I don't know, but anyway, I got some jewelry and I got some sheets that I, I couldn't, you know how much I love bedding. I love beautiful bedding and whimsical bedding. So I, you know, I, I made a big deal and I was showing you my, my bird quilt. Well, lo and behold, I found sheets that match. So I can't wait to show you. I'm so glad you're here. Bridal and gift registry. Now that makes a lot of sense. Now how come they don't have a, I just got a divorce registry? Now that would make even more sense, wouldn't it? I mean, gosh, I needed a whole lot of things after I got my divorce, like uh, food. You know, I can't wait to show you some of the things that I got at Burlington, and I got a couple things off of Amazon I want to show you, a little haul, and I also went to Bed Bath & Beyond. <laughs> Every time I go there, it is truly Weirdsville. I don't know what there is about that place, but... Anyway, before I do, before we get into the little haul, I just wanted to say, well, number one, thank you for your sweet comments on my video last week on rosehip seed oil. But I forgot to mention a couple things about my skincare routine, and I just thought that was kind of important, uh, you know, just to, well, just to go over it for a minute. But I forgot to mention that I use carrot seed oil every single day. Uh, I use, you know, different kinds of brands. Sometimes I use it in the day, sometimes at night. I always use it right after my rosehip seed oil, but I just take a drop or two and just pat it into my neck and my face and my hands. And it's a wonderful oil. 
and it's it's one of the facial oils that is being studied the most. They're looking into seeing if carrot seed oil might hold some properties that repair our cells from the sun damage. So it's kind of like an antioxidant. Everybody knows it's an antioxidant, but it might be what they are thinking. It might be a super antioxidant, whatever that is, but I like it and I want some of that. <laughs> The other thing I wanted to mention is a product. This is the Arcabia Coffee Scrub, and you love it. You love this so much, and I do too. And the one thing I forgot to mention about this coffee scrub is you need to shake it up. So, you know, you go into the shower, you, you shake it up, you get your face wet, you put this on, and I do it probably for between two and three minutes. And after you get out of that shower, you know how sometimes your face could be a little bit dry? When you walk out of the shower after using this, it's like you have you have new skin and it feels so soft. It's like you just added some oil to it or some cream. It's, for me, spoiler alert, this is the product of the year for me. It's so amazing. And you know, I thank L'Oreal because L'Oreal got me started on the coffee scrubs. But then when I researched it, I kind of bumped it up to, to this. So I love it, and I know you love it too. The last thing I wanted to mention is Clarins sent me their rose cream. Look at this. This is incredible. <laughs> it is hazelnut cream. No, hazelnut oil and shea butter oil and a lot of plant extracts. Look how pink that is. But this is not, they don't sell this for hydration. They sell this to give us a tint of, of beautiful pink glow and to even out our skin tone. So in other words, fade our age spots. And of course, this is very beautiful to add with a foundation. And it really smells like roses, like kind of too much. But anyway, it's a beautiful cream, especially if you don't wear makeup and you just wash your face and you put this on, you walk out into the world and you're glowing, you have a pink glow and it's beautiful. Look at that, that is a cotton quilt set. It's Christmas, that is so cute. Oh my goodness, that is so adorable. Desi, are you under the bed? Desi, is that you under the bed? What are you doing under there? You wanna to go to the park. You want me to stop filming, don't you? <laughs> You know, I know it's no secret that I love beautiful bedding and, you know, I kind of battle depression, you know, now and then. And so I love things happy and whimsical. You know, I, I love my apartment or my home just to reflect back the joy of life. So I got my bird quilt that I showed you that I loved and lo and behold, I found some matching sheets. And I just about died when I saw them. But I haven't put them on my bed yet, but I'm going to, and I want to take you along with me. I know, I can't help myself. I love beautiful sheets. Oh my gosh, look at these sheets. Look, oh my God, look at these sheets. They're like little postcard marks. I was so happy when I found those sheets. It's so cool because my quilt here has, you know, like a little postcard and it has some writing. And on this sheet set, uh, it's so cool. It's two fitted sheets and it has four pillowcases and it has the little uh, postcard mark and it has the little uh, postcard French writing. So it couldn't be more perfect for my bed. love it that you get four pillowcases so gosh that is just that's so luxurious you get all these really nice uh, pillowcases and it says Noel uh, for the holidays I just I think they're so cute oh I wish I had the guts to wear that I just love it oh man oh man <laughs> Oh, well, that reminds me of my friend in grade school, Claudia. She always, her mother always dressed her in corduroy. And the one thing I remember about Claudia, she could crack her knuckles really loud. I really admired that. I wonder if she still does that. 
You know, I had such a good time taking you to Burlington with me, and I got some really cute uh, fall and, and winter sweaters that I want to show you. Things that are kind of unusual for me, things I've never owned before. And I got them. They're designer clothes at totally bargain basement prices but the first thing I wanted to show you is a very long duster sweater it's by absolutely famous and it is top here with kind of a Sherpa kind of uh, collar and lining but I want to try this on for you and see what you think. I think that there's something very, very glamorous about uh, very long sweaters and dusters. I have never owned any, so this is kind of new for me. So uh, I'm really enjoying it. Absolutely beautiful selection of all kinds of long sweaters and cardigans and dusters and the one that I really had my eye on was this one this is this is an olive green and I don't usually look good in olive green but you know I, I, I was thinking about you know maybe uh, playing off it with maybe some type of yellow scarf or yellow and white type really beautiful floral uh, scarf for the fall. So I, I picked up this, uh, this olive green duster and I'm anxious to see what you think. That is just a very nice white blouse. It's a nice staple. Uh, it's, it's really nice, understated. Let's see, how much is it? This is fine. You know, staples in our wardrobe are always so important. And there's always one staple for me that I'm lacking, and that is just a nice, white, crisp, tailored blouse. And I have beautiful white blouses, but most of them are very feminine. Uh, they have lace collars or uh, almost a Victorian feel to them. I don't know why, but I have a hard time just getting that beautiful white blouse. And I'm so attracted right now to that kind of clean, sharp look. White blouse, jean jacket, white blouse, you know, just crisp black sweater. I, you know, I think I'm kind of drifting away from boho and getting, I don't know, somehow very attracted to very severe lines like Aztec designs or geometric designs. I, I'm just all of a sudden very attracted to that crisp look. And so I was so happy. This, uh, I believe this is by uh, Como Blue. my sheets and the adorable outfits that I got Quinn, my newest little granddaughter. I think my very favorite thing that I got, well I love these threader earrings that I got and I'll show you a close up of these earrings, but my very favorite thing is this blouse that I'm wearing and this is a Kokomo blouse. And the one thing, I'm sure you all know, but the one thing that you can do with Kokomo uh, blouses and tops is you can size down. And the way that they are cut and the way that this particular brand fits you, it's so flattering and it it's glamorous and it's flattering and yeah, I just, I love this top. I, I am trying to find a link where this exact top so you can find out where this exact top is because it's so beautiful.
you know, you beautiful ladies that belong to this channel, you absolutely rock it every week. And a couple of you wrote me over the last month or so to, to try to pick up some hemp oil and that helps the eye area. It helps work on uh, your lids and on crow's feet. So I did. And I went out and uh, a little bit of my haul was, uh, it's Kaiser Hemp Serum with Aloe. <laughs> Sounds promising, doesn't it? But it is kind of a half gel, half watery serum. But I have been using this in the morning along with my uh, Revival Serum. Revival. Anyway, um, it's nice. I like it. And so I'm going to try it. I'm going to give it 60 days and then report back to you. But I really, you know, I don't know much about uh, uh, hemp oil. <laughs> but... You know, I'll give it a go if it helps me around my, my eye area, you know, why not? We'll give it a try. That quilt doesn't do much for me and neither do those pillows. It's like a bed for Smokey the Bear. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I just wanted to show you some of Quinn's outfits. This is the little Mickey Mouse. Oh, I had so much fun buying these. These are nine piece ensembles that you can get. So it's like a little nighty and a t-shirt and a bib and a hat. Oh, it's, they're just so cute. This one says sweet and, and magical. And she's <laughs> riding a little unicorn there. Got a little hat. Oh, but then we got a little, a little kitty, a kitty jacket and a t-shirt, some corduroy pants. She is going to be styling. This one has a, this one has a hood. So she's going to have a, a hood to keep her warm. Look oh. at that. We got Minnie Mouse. Oh, she's going to love this. She is going to look so cute. Oh, look at those shoes. She is so going to be styling. Look at this. My first Christmas. Look at this. She has a little red bow for her hair at, uh, at Christmas time. Well, she probably won't have any hair, will she? At Christmas time. Oh, well. She could just have a bow for her head. That would be perfect. You know, my littlest grandchild is going to be born in just a few weeks. And, you know, just like two years ago before Wyatt was born, I'm a nervous wreck. I admit it. I am so not myself and I cry at the drop of a hat I'm so emotional <laughs> you know I'm you know I'm kind of that way anyway but you know I'm off the charts right now so thank you thank you for putting up with me thank you for indulging me like this today but you know when I was in Burlington I was crying I was looking at all the little girl outfits and I was just crying and I don't know part of me you know, I just, I, I felt, well, I, I just felt not myself. And I looked over and there was a young man. And he walked with a severe limp. And his speech was garbled. And he seemed to favor one side. So he, he was severely handicapped. He had a little blue vest on and he had a bow tie and he had a clipboard. And he was working there. He had a, a little name tag that said Jack. And he, he reminded me of, well, I think this is okay to say. He, he reminded me of Forrest Gump. I, I, I always love that movie. I say the name of that movie and I start crying. So anyway, I saw that he was like a stalker for the store, but he had his, his little clipboard with him. And I couldn't imagine how, how hard life has been for that young man. And he, he's working a full-time job. And he had a smile on his face and he had his, his little bow tie. And I was, I was just enchanted. I was mesmerized. And when I walked by him, he he just so shyly picked up his head and he said hello pretty lady <laughs> and i so needed to hear that 
I so needed to hear that just right at that moment when I was feeling so disconnected. And as I was checking out, I asked the I asked the girl that was checking me out, the clerk, about him. And she said, that's Jack. We love him. And he calls all the ladies his pretty ladies. Every single woman that comes into that store, he says, hello, pretty lady. <laughs> I couldn't help but wish that the world was more like that. And so when I was thinking about my little, my little grandchild, I was just thinking about how harsh the world is and what might lie ahead for her. And, and then I, as I was leaving, I, I just saw that, that sweet young man <laughs> with his little blue vest. And he waved goodbye to me. And it just filled me with so much hope. With faith, all things are possible. Faith in, in doing the right thing. Faith in each other. And faith in ourselves. Look right there. All those pretty ladies out there, they have all kinds of doggies out there that you could play with. Don't you want to look? <laughs> Today feels like a good day to be happy. A good day to be happy indeed. I hope you have a wonderful brand new week. And you know, if you have time, could you share in the comments, what do you hope for? You know, for, for your children or grandchildren, you know, just do you have any hopes or dreams for them that you'd want to share? Or maybe just some hope, some hopes for you, for yourself. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. You have a wonderful brand new week. And when you're done with your week, come back and see me and does, okay? All right, it's a deal. You know, I think one of the things I miss most about my youth is how much fun it was to be totally outrageous. Gosh, I love that.